now listening to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast hosted by Reese Chanson. And hello folks, uh, welcome to the pod, this is your host Reese Chanson, and today we're looking at uh, Miss Education. That's the series we're looking at, it's a Netflix new series. Okay, interesting few things to look at. It's six episodes long. It's proudly South African, so you will enjoy it. It's uh, it's semi uh political. It's got corruption. It's got a bunch of various things that I think everyone will enjoy. It's got love. It's got determination. It's got a bit of corruption. So it's it's basically masqueraded in the idea of corruption. And our lead protagonist is the daughter of a minister who is uh, a you know, uh sort of arrested or in trouble for stealing government funds and uh, the daughter is sort of humiliated during a party of hers and uh, the whole she gets cancelled by the so apparent cancel culture situation and her getting cancelled she moves to this Makanda University to get a new start and try to re-establish herself but she does absolutely none of that shit basically the character itself the main protagonist, Mbali, develops nothing. Like, usually when a show starts, you expect the fall from grace, uh, and then the rise from uh, the dirt and shit like that. But that does not happen with her. She starts off, um, how do I say it? Starts off from a high note and falls and crumbles. She starts off as, as a spoiled little brat who's self-centered, cares about herself only, and ends her as the same person. No difference. Of course, towards the end, she tries to be a decent person for a change and admit her wrongs, but in comes her mother, who basically is supporting her nonsense by buying the school. That is what I'm assuming she's doing. So, I have no idea what's going to happen. Based on the way the show ended, I am expecting season two to come out. So, it will be interesting to see how all things pan out. But I will say a few things did come to fruition while watching the show. I will say that it's worth a watch. Six episodes, it won't take too much of your time, and you will absolutely enjoy it. Those are facts. Now, of course, I could say a bunch of things about the show that pissed me off. Oh, okay. But none, none, none comes to mind. Except the whole show was well written. Uh, a few issues that I have, not issues per se. There is some sort of a abuse in a way. There's a, a bit of domestic violence. There's a bit of uh, I don't know if it's pedophilia, but I don't. I wouldn't consider it pedophilia. If, if a university professor of some sort sleeps with a university student, it's inappropriate, but it's not pedophilia. Or defilement of any nature. That happens. I will say that the main character in Bali is a determined person. And a lot of people bond with her in that regard. She's very determined. Works hard. Is passionate about getting her goals. Even if it means destroying everything and everyone around her. Which, which is quite odd. Because at the beginning she says she wants to stay away from a mother who's corrupt and evil. And does the same things that her mother does. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree based on the whole premise of the show so Mbali betrays all her friends really she betrays the guy that she apparently likes and loves she destroys his fucking life basically is the reason why this guy breaks his arm this guy gets out of his rowing team I don't know why a black guy is rowing in the first place but whatever this guy's raised by white people why doing white people shit <laughs> So we'll live with this shit. This nigga do white people shit. So what we, 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 we gotta do about it? So we gotta deal with it. So then Bali character moves, through, basically leaves the Johannesburg life of partying, deletes her Instagram, but somehow cr gay crashes a party and suddenly has an Instagram account and everybody's bawling. The person who says I want to get, I'm not, I don't want to associate myself with my old life, somehow. Brings it back. Does the nonsense she did back in the city when she had privilege. Only difference this time. She doesn't actually have privilege privilege. But she has a way of manipulating people. So if you want to learn the tips of manipulating folks. This is the show for you. Uh, without without further ado. I think y'all should watch it. 
it's great. Uh, this this lasted longer than it should have. So, uh, key points. It's a great show. I cannot wait for season two to come out. Um, it, I have a few complaints. Like I already said, there's no character development at all for the lead protagonist. So, hopefully, next... Of course, there's a little bit of character development where she actually becomes a decent person the last 15 minutes of the show, which is utterly disappointing. But hopefully, season two will be different, but I doubt it. If the mother's going to own the campus, she's going to be a spoiled little cunt again. So, I don't know if anyone of that matter should be saying any of that shit. I mean, now, that was entertaining. You just listened to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast with Reese Jansen. With that being said, remember to support the podcast on Patreon. And let's hang out another time. Adios, folks. Adios. Miss Education. Bye, folks. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. I look like a fucking idiot, but it's been a bastard.